Let's begin by rewinding the clock back to 1977. Okay. This was a big year for the space program because in August of that year, NASA launched a spacecraft carrying a gold record. Mm -hmm. You remember this, right? I remember. The record carried a message from us to them, our story. You know, it was Carl Sagan. The cosmos is all that is, or ever was, or ever will be. Who led the team that made the record, and that team included, actually was headed by, Annie Druyan. I visited Annie at her home in Ithaca, New York, and we sat in the backyard near a waterfall, in the same spot, she says, where Carl himself would sit, and become so absorbed in what he was reading that he would not notice a deer standing right next to him. My name is Annie Drian, and um, I was honored to be the creative director of the Voyager Interstellar Message Project, which began in early 1977. I had asked Carl whether or not it would be possible to compress the impulses in one's brain and nervous system into sound and then put that sound on the record and then think that perhaps the extraterrestrials of the future would be able to reconstitute that data into thought. And he looked at me in beautiful May day in New York City and said, well, you know, thousand million years is a long time you know why don't you go do it uh, because who knows you know who knows what's possible in a thousand million years and so um, my brain waves and REM every little sound that my body was making was recorded at Bellevue Hospital in New York this was two days after Carl and I declared our love for each other and so what I often think is that maybe a hundred million years from now, you know, somebody flags that record down and I always wonder it because part of what I was thinking in this meditation was about the wonder of love and of being in love and to know it's on those two spacecraft. Even now, in my, whenever I'm down, you know, I'm thinking and still they move 35,000 miles an hour leaving our solar system for the great wide open sea of interstellar space.